a wave of violence in Sri Lanka this week, targeting Muslims. In an apparent retaliation to the Easter Sunday bombings, leading to dozens of arrests. Attacks on Muslim-owned businesses and homes, leaving at least one person dead. They came with a sword and tried to attack me, says his shopkeeper. They threatened to kill me. I ran away through the back door. Authorities say the violence started Sunday with mobs ransacking mosques as they move from town to town, throwing rocks and setting fires. Muslims make up nearly 10 percent of Sri Lanka's 22 million people. The unrest, the worst in weeks, believed to be backlash to the ISIS-claimed Easter bombings at churches and hotels that killed more than 250 people. The latest flare-up of violence prompting the Sri Lankan government to block social media, including sites like Facebook and WhatsApp, after one dispute reportedly started online. Social media was also blocked in the wake of the Easter attacks to stop the spread of misinformation, according to local officials. Overnight curfews are in effect. Sri Lanka has a history of ethnic and religious violence, including a brutal civil war that ended a decade ago. And the United Nations is reacting to unrest in Sri Lanka this week. They're posting online that they are concerned by the emerging communal violence and tension in Sri Lanka. And they're calling on government and security forces to ensure that the situation does not escalate.